I think thank you very much, um, Lorenzo. That was a that was a, a, a great summary of, of what's been achieved in this workshop um, today. I think one year ago we were really um, we were trying to define the wash packages. We were looking at how we can build evidence and linking WASH with advocacy and, and really trying to raise the profile of, of WASH in cholera. I think we've made some significant steps in that direction. And now we're really looking at how we can fundamentally support at the, at the country level. So we're moving towards preparedness and response, prevention uh, and control of cholera at, at the national level. Some of the highlights are really around uh, this operationalizing of the national uh, cholera plans um, and really moving forward on the framework and as was mentioned already, this WASH vulnerability and how we can really take that as a, a means of, of, of targeting uh, cholera hotspots and ranking them and also how we can be truly accountable in what we do and, and use that, that uh, vulnerability as a, as a way of, of, of monitoring our progress and our contribution towards cholera control. So a really important part. Another part was the financing and, and ad advocacy bit. So we really did try to package WASH um, and advocate the global level and now what can we do at the national level? And I think really building on the work that we did with the cholera investment case. Uh, you know, there was a discussion before about should we narrow our focus or should we be broad in our focus. Uh, and I think there are many cases like polio, for example, where we saw routine um, vaccination um, put aside while polio was, was concentrated on. I don't think we want to go down that path of just being too narrow in our approach. And, and so I would suggest, and having the final word, I think is, a, is often a, a, a good place, that we, we're trying to align with the SDGs. We're, trying to, we're saying that for every $1, we have $10 of multiple benefits, socioeconomic, health, diarrheal, uh, environmental benefits. And so this, this requires us to, to ensure that we remain broad, but stay focused on uh, the elimination of cholera, and I think that will be a challenge for us as we're moving on. We came up with some prickly issues around coordination, some very challenging parts, particularly around humanitarian coordination and how are we going to move forward on this now that we have, we're proposing cholera coordinators at the national level, what's their role vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, uh, the, the EOCs, the, the health cluster, the WASH cluster, and the, the many apparatus of humanitarian and outbreak um, platforms that are on the ground. So we need to define that. Another one is the, the role of the, of the regional platforms. So I think it, it was brought up multiple times that uh, when we're looking at cross-border transmission, when we're looking at perhaps even financing uh, of a number of countries within a region that the regional platforms do have a role uh, and that they could be brought in under the GTFCC um, and so we need to look at how we can structure that um, and so there'll be I guess work done at the GTFCC level to be able to do that so that's something that is it's encouraging that that's moving forward. Then we talked about risk communication and community engagement. And I think everyone that's unanimous support that this is central to what we do. I think there was a decision not to create a different working group, but to really see how we can integrate this systematically in this group and amongst the other groups as a genuinely multi-sectoral cross-cutting um, issue. And again, we have another uh, WASH and OCV. It keeps coming up and we need to really be able to respond that list that Monica gave was perhaps provocative for some, but it's, it's a step forward and we really need to define how we move forward on WASH and OCV. The country presentations uh, compared to last year, wonderful. 
like the progress that, that has been made there. They were all very articulate. Um, and I think you, know, you looked at the political dimensions, you looked at the coordination, you looked at the, the programming and policy. Um, you gave us the highlights and the challenges and you created debate. And I think on the first day really helped to, to um, us build discussions as, as, the, as, as we progress. So thank you very much for all of the, uh, the, the country contributions. Then we have um, amazing research that's just been done. Um, we want to strengthen the evidence base and that research is, is going a long way um, to be able to, to do that and really support the interventions that we're trying to, to aim for um, elimination of cholera. And then we talked in general about capacity building through the lens of, of uh, guidance and training. Uh, and I think here some of the highlights for me were really around um, integration of diseases, not just looking at through the lens of cholera, ensuring that it's multi-sectoral, um, and really moving forward on some of those key areas that, that Lorenzo um, brought up just now. Um, and to all those who supported chairing and presenting sessions, thank you very much. Um, so thank you really for all your enthusiasm, your dynamism, and the the... the really that the collaborative spirit that you've put into today. Uh, and we encourage you to keep participating in the WASH Working Group, uh, networking, influencing, um, and let's continue to make progress on preparedness and response, uh, on prevention and control of cholera. Thank you all, and wish you safe travels. Bon voyage.